Hi guys, so this is Tatiana here. Um, just finished coming from such a powerful um, event. Um, I, it really inspired me in so many ways to really move forward with what I'm my current projects right now. The information that I got from it, oh my God, I think it's really going to give me that push that I need to really get things done. Um, so much information, so I'm excited for something that I'm working on that I'm still keeping on the shh. But you guys will learn about it real, real soon. And just look at these flowers right now. They are just looking so beautiful. Um, so I just wanted to take the time to you know just come here and say that her talk is moving forward and expect nothing but awesome awesomeness coming from it bye guys and one of the exercises in the book i'd say to do is list a hundred life goals because one of the things that one of the not so sexy parts i picked up after battling cancer was i i shrank how much i allowed myself to drink so yours might not have been cancer, yours might have been the bit, the first business went out of business, you know, the man left. Something traumatic happens sometimes and we say, well, let me not dream so big. Let me just be grateful for this little bitty corner I have versus saying, what would it look like if I owned the whole block? And so that was at 19, so at 30 I realized I was still going after the dreams of an 18 year old. That I hadn't given myself permission to dream from now. But once I knew that I could start to dream again, so I listed 100 life goals of all the things I wanted. And from petting a giraffe, riding an elephant, meeting Michelle Obama, meeting Oprah, because I had to put those things. Because if you don't write your vision as VIP, your vision will walk right past you and you won't know it. Because they, when, when they don't see that instant gratification back, then they feel like, oh, that means that my idea sucked, that means that this is not a good idea, you know what I mean? This is, this is a waste of my time, I put all this time and energy into it, but this is a baby. It, you, it's wake up, waking up every two hours, you know, it, it's got it's got to go through the different stages in life before it's, before it's mature. Um, and so you have to cut yourself some slack mm -hmm. and allow yourself to go through that process. And if you push through that, you're going, you, there's nowhere else to go but forward. So um, that's like, it's, you know, you're, you're absolutely, just to um, interact there, it's not a race. I think we all have to remind ourselves. And one of the things that I've, you know, in order for me to accomplish 150 pages of this magazine all by myself, oh, we got five minutes, but really quickly, is, you know, sometimes we go to social media. And that's, I mean, sometimes you need a break from that. I, when I was creating this magazine, I did not look at social media at all. I did not, and I, and I focused and I said, you know what, it's not a race. I can't look at what she's doing, and what she's doing, and what she's doing. What they're doing, God bless them. That's what I would say, God bless, let her continue. Let her do her thing, I have my own path. And I think that is so important, is to remember, it's not a race and it's not a competition. We think about ourselves and just focus and also be humble and grateful. <laughs> I know we have one or five minutes. No, I did write down a couple of things uh, specifically on this question. But one thing I would say is that we have to, and especially as women, we have to balance like the practical business stuff. With